So Sunday marked the 67th anniversary of the start of the Korean War that left the peninsula divided and some two and a half million people dead. To commemorate the occasion, Prime Minister Lee Na Gyeon attended a ceremony in Seoul where he sent some strong messages to North Korea. Ji Myung Gil has more. Prime Minister Lee Na Gyeon made repeated calls in his address on Sunday for North Korea to immediately release the four nationals in its custody. North Korea must respect human rights. The international community is outraged over the death of Otto Warmbier. North Korea must immediately free the South Koreans and Americans in its detention. 22-year-old American University student Otto Warmbier died after he was returned to the U.S. in a coma, following 17 months of detention in the North. The regime is still holding three other Americans and six South Koreans. Prime Minister Yi also urged North Korea to give up its nuclear and missile ambitions. If North Korea respects the inter-Korean joint declarations of June 15th and October 4th, then it should cease upgrading its nuclear and missile programs. North Korea should take the path to denuclearization. The June 15th declaration in the year 2000 and the October 4th declaration in 2007 call for the two Koreas to boost their cooperation and promote peace and national reunification on the Korean Peninsula. In recognition of the anniversary of the start of the Korean War 67 years ago, Prime Minister Yi offered a silent tribute to the fallen heroes of that conflict and thanked the United Nations war veterans and their relatives who attended the ceremony. The Prime Minister said the government will do its utmost to look after the veterans and make sure they are not forgotten. Kim Young-gyeot, Arirang News.